The holidays are just around the corner, and I know a lot of us are trying to figure out what traditions we're going to be able to keep. Well, I'm excited to tell you that there's going to be one of them for a lot of you that you will be able to see, The Forgotten Carols. I want to bring in our guest, Michael McLean, who is the incredible writer and composer. Michael, thank you for being with us. Thanks for having me. I'm excited to be here. Absolutely. Hey, well, and you know, my mom introduced me to you young with your piano music, so it's nice to actually talk with you in person. And Michael, thousands of people see your show every single year, and they're not going to be seeing it on stage this year. Well, because of the COVID challenges, uh, we, yeah. couldn't, we just couldn't do it. But miracles do happen at Christmas time. And we <laughs> had an opportunity just at the beginning of this month with 15 different camera angles to film the latest version of The Forgotten Carols. And uh, the cast is unbelievable. Um, the story is our most recent incarnation. And, okay. uh, and because we filmed it, instead of taking it on the road in a traditional way, it'll be in movie theaters. And so you can go into the plec Megaplex or wherever they're gonna have, and you can find out where in the selected theaters around the country it's gonna be showing. And you don't have an excuse by saying, oh, I, I waited too long and tickets were sold out. You don't have to have that happen. You don't have to say, oh, yeah. we're not going to have the tradition. That's taken care of. And I will not get sick because I won't be going. And, and we may do some, you know, Facebook Live kind of things uh, to, to keep connected. But it's going to be able to be seen by more people than ever before. And it's, I think I've been working on this story for 29 years, and I finally wow. got it right. And now- You know what, <laughs> good for you. <laughs> and, and there's a lot of people, <clears throat> I won't name names, uh -oh. who <laughs> think they know me and haven't <laughs> seen The Forgotten Carols. They said, oh yeah, I love the songs, uh -huh. I read the book, and, but this is, the, <laughs> this is your no excuses year. This is the year, yep. you can't say, oh, it was sold out in movie theaters, can't sell out. Oh, oh I it was it. just, it's, it was only the one night that I had to babysit. No. <laughs> and, oh, it's too expensive. It's too much money. No. There's no excuse no. for Jenny Hardman and company I know. I know. to go see the show. Listen, I want to have you have me back after you've seen it. I want to review. Okay, okay. I promise you 100%. See, this is what happens when you confess to your interviewee that you've never seen it, but you know all of his music. Now, Michael, listen, I swear I'm going to go see it. I could see in your eyes. Yeah, yeah. You can't lie at Christmas, that's for sure. Well, Michael, if people want to see it, they can go to the theaters. And, of course, again, when's that date? Uh, November 20th. But for all the details and all the surprises and all the reveals of where and how and who, go to ForgottenCarols.com. Be thankful to Utah Film Commission for helping us pull this off and be thankful for your show for telling everybody to go. Michael, so great to meet you. And we will be talking to you again when I will review your version that you finally got right 29 years later. <laughs> I, I cannot wait. Thanks, Jenny. Bye. Good to see you. See you.